Hey, Linda. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Can good. you give us a quick update on the uh, the new building and our upcoming closure? I will. You know, next week we're going to do a video walkthrough, so you'll get to see everything with Ernie. But today we wanted to give you an update because people have been asking us, you know, when are you closing? When are we moving into the new edition? So we will be moving into the new edition the week of June 21st, and we'll be closed for three weeks. So we have a few things on our timeline. So May 29th will be the last day that you can interlibrary loan an item from another library, uh, and also the last day that you can request for us to purchase any new materials until we reopen after the move. Uh, so, uh, so people who have items out and are checking items up now, when will they? When will they? That was my next. Be due. <laughs> uh, okay, so if, if uh, someone checks an item out today, then their items won't be due until July 13th. That's our. Okay reopening date. So we're looking to be closed from June 21st, reopening on July 13th. So anything you take out from now until I believe it's June 19th will not be due to July 13th. So stock up. You can take out as many of any item as you want, except audiobooks. Audiobooks are going to be limited to six audiobooks. But DVDs, books, magazines, if you want to take a whole bunch to get you through, we're fine with that. Uh, the more items you take, the less items we have to move. That's true. That's a very good point because we're moving everything. So. We are. Everything has to move out of the current building into the addition so that they can renovate the addition, uh, the historic and the 1980s addition. So we, um, not everything will be ready in the, when we move into the new addition, meaning uh, the teen room is actually going to be its final destination is the 1980s edition. So we'll only have a little bit of our teen collection available while we're in the new edition. Um, the children's room will be fully available. It's going to be beautiful. People are really going to love it. I'll I'm really excited about I that. Know. It's right. So people are asking, you know, where do I park? Where do I come in? The whole historic library in 80s edition will not be available to the public or the staff. So you're going to have to come in through the high street entrance. And the high street entrance is, uh, if you go to that road that's right across the street from the post office, you go up that road and take a left. That's where that parking lot is. Most of the parking lot will still be taken up by construction, but we'll have nine parking spaces for patrons to use, including, I believe it's two handicapped spaces. Will be available. And that's more than we have right now. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> and so then you'll come right in through those doors. And when you first come in on the left-hand side, boom, that's where the children's room is. No more going up all those stairs. And in the children's room will be the craft area. You'll have your own children's bathroom with a child-sized sink. Uh, we're very excited. For everyone to yeah. see it. So it's kind of a mini opening before the grand opening. Right, because like I said, uh, our new meeting room will not be accessible because John, our teen librarian, is going to use part of that room for the temporary teen space. And in addition, some of our staff, including you, uh, their office areas will not be ready until the whole project's complete. So our little private study rooms will actually be staff offices. So those won't be available either. So uh, focusing on what is available, the children's room, the entire adult collection, part of the teen space. Uh, we'll have two to three adult PCs available for people to use. And uh, all of our AV, all of our DVDs, audiobooks, those will be available. Video games. Stop. Video yeah. games. Stock up on the video games, guys. <laughs> yes. And also, um, we'll have several seating areas scattered throughout the building. So people are looking for a semi-quiet place, they, they'll find them to do some work. Um, what else do I want to tell you? Um, oh, people have offered to help us with the move, but the trustees have opted to contract with a professional library moving company. They're actually going to be the ones to take the majority of our books off the shelf. Uh, they put them onto little carts, then they disassemble the shelving, reassemble the shelving, and put the books back on the shelves. And the staff will be there to assist them to make sure everything's going in the right place. And re the trustees' decision to do it that way is we have 37,000 volumes plus all of our furniture. And there is no air conditioning in the building right now. Yes. And it gets really hot, let me tell you, especially upstairs in the children's room. So uh, the trustees opted. We did have it in our budget, and the trustees op opted with professional movers. So thank you to those people that uh, wanted to volunteer to help. Yeah, thank you for the offer. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, so anyway, July 13th, we will be reopening. We hope everyone comes in to see us. That's mm -hmm. a Tuesday. And uh, get to check out the new digs. Yeah, and so stuck up, guys, and we'll, we'll see you then. All right. Thanks, Linda. Right. And we will have another uh, interview with Ernie coming up soon, so keep an eye out for that. You'll get a lot more detail on the, the technical progress of the building. So. And a sneak peek.
Yes. Into the edition. All right. Thank you guys. Thank you, Erin. Thanks. Bye.